Hello everyone, I will show you how to do the Sagardi knot. My name is Alberto Sagardi. I created this knot by accident. I have asked already Mr. Novotny, Mr. Krasny and Mr. Greenwood about this knot and they said that he didn't, they haven't seen this one before. So I'm pretty sure I have, I am the creator of this one. I hope you like it. First, we use the short side of the tie. The big one, you keep it in between the belly button and the belt line. So you have enough this side and you do the your knot correctly. Make a pinch here and pass forward like this. Behind and behind the first movement and under like this. This is very important. These first two loops are needed in order to have a symmetric knot in the end. These ones have to be very tight in order to have enough of this part of the tie. Okay? You go front and behind again. Now, this is what I, in my opinion, uh, the, this, these next movements resemble the cape knot. The cape knot shown by Alex Krasny in his, in his channel. Just go under like this. This is the, the only difference. You go under like this and then you will go behind and under the front loop like this. Okay? This was just to show the movement. The important thing here, just like a recommendation, I I would recommend you to keep one of your fingers, your index, your index finger, like, like this, so you have enough space to finish the knot here. Okay, under like this. And use your index finger also to just take all the all the tie, all the the length of the tie that is needed to finish this knot. Now you go behind like this and also you keep it your your index finger behind like this. Pull the tie and then you have these two loops here. Now you just need to little to make a little adjustments here and there like this. So you can finish your knot. You can see the, the shape now. Now the last the last movement you don't have to do is just go under these two loops. That's why you need some space here just to finish. As I said, you need to make just little adjustments in order to have enough tie to finish here. You don't need a, a more a longer tie to make this this knot. You just have to be a little bit patient just to finish like this. Some may know that this part, well, in my opinion also, resembles the Trulov knot created by Elliot Trulov. Just finish like this. There you go. See? Now, if you have more, more tie here, you can hide it under your collar, this part. But this is not necessary. It is enough like this. You just take your color down. And there you go. So this is the Sagardi knot. I hope you like it. If you do, share the knowledge. Also, I would appreciate if you leave a comment. Thank you very much.